Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about gallstones. Now gallstones, they are formed from the constituents of the bile. So they can be either composed of cholesterol or either they can be composed of bile pigments or they can be mixed stones. So firstly we will discuss about cholesterol stones, we will discuss about the pathogenesis, the morphology of it, then we will go to the bile pigment stones, we will discuss about that. Now going to the cholesterol stones. Now normally the cholesterol is rendered soluble in the bile by, with the help of bile salts and whenever there is cholesterol which is increased in the bile when the cholesterol concentration it is exceeding the quantity of the bile salts that means it exceeds the solubilizing capacity of the bile that means the bile is super saturated with cholesterol now whenever super saturation takes place there is crystallization so same here takes place cholesterol is no longer dispersed in the bile and it nucleates into the crystal now going to the pathogenesis bit in detail firstly we can uh, we already understood that the cholesterol is uh, being soluble with the help of bile salts and lecithin this uh, both they help to form mixed micelles and this mixed micelles they are soluble in bile however when there is super saturation due to increase in the cholesterol there is formation of multilaminar vesicles and when this is combined with gallbladder hypomotility whenever there is gallbladder stasis this will promote the formation of uh, cholesterol stones now the gallbladder hypomotility can be due to various reasons but what it does is it leads to stasis of the bile in the gallbladder and there is no passage of biliary sludge into the intestine and this will promote the formation of cholesterol stones which are cholesterol monohydrate crystals and they accrete to form the cholesterol stone now the promoters for the formation of cholesterol stone they are firstly gallbladder stasis and secondly there is a very important mucus hypersecretion which will trap the crystals and form the stones so this was about the pathogenesis going to the morphology of the cholesterol stones they are yellow in color and they are round to ovoid in shape they have a hard external surface and on cutting there is a glistening cut section this is about the morphology of the cholesterol stone going to diagnosis part now diagnosis part Firstly, if we go for radiographic examination, these are radiolucent. That means we will not find any shadow on X-ray because these are, do not have any calcium in that. Uh, this is about the pure cholesterol stone. However, uh, when there is mixture of calcium carbonate along with the cholesterol stone, this will be radio opaque in the X-ray but mainly if there is prior cholesterol stone that will be radiolucent so for diagnosing it we should go for ultrasound abdomen where there is shadow we can find there is a shadow present not for the x-ray now going to the risk factor of the gallstones first we will discuss the risk factor of cholesterol stones then we will go to the risk factor of the pigment stones so risk factor of the cholesterol stones Firstly, in demographically, these are common in the Western population, advancing age, and very important uh, uh, risk factor is the female sex hormone. So, estrogen is specially linked to formation of cholesterol gallstones. Moreover, uh, we should remember that females they are more prone for the gallstone than the males. Firstly, the female gender then oral contraceptive pills because they create a hyper estrogenic state in the body then pregnancy uh, then obesity obesity as you know there will be increase in cholesterol in the body this is automatically linked there is a rapid weight reduction if there is rapid weight reduction this leads to change in the composition of bile and there is increase in formation of cholesterol gallstones other things like gallbladder stasis hyperlipidemia syndrome they are also associated with the cholesterol stone going to the pigment stone risk factors now they are all together different Firstly, demographically, we should remember that Asians are more prone. The rural population is more prone than the urban population. 
and then we will discuss that later that the pigment stones they are formed from the bilirubin so anything which increases the presence of bilirubin will increase the pigment stone that first one is the hemolytic anemias any chronic hemolytic syndromes then biliary infection so let's discuss firstly the pigment stones now the pigment stones as i already told you they are composed of unconjugated bilirubin this is very important to understand that they are composed of unconjugated bilirubin not conjugated bilirubin and this along with the inorganic calcium salt they form the pigment stone now the disorders which are associated along with the uh, increase in the unconjugated bilirubin they are hemolytic syndromes then there is severe ileal dysfunction and a very important is bacterial contamination of the biliary tree now bacterial contamination of the biliary tree this will lead to formation of something known as brown pigment stone however if there is only hemolytic syndrome this they will found, find uh, form black pigment stone so bacterial contamination uh, if with conorchis ascaris they lead to formation of pigment stones now we can um, classify the pigment stone into black and brown as we already discussed there are black pigment stone and brown pigment stone and the black pigment stone they are found in the sterile gallbladder uh, by however the brown one they are found in the infected gallbladder going to the morphology of the pigment stones the pig black pigment stones they are very small in size they are rarely greater than 1.5 cm in diameter and they are present in very great number the cholesterol stone which we already discussed they can also be present in great number but sometimes a single cholesterol stone can also be present but in the case of black gall uh, black bile stone um, black pigment stone they are mostly present in great number and they always they are very soft and they mostly crumble to touch and the contours the sides they speculated they molded they are mostly soft however the brown uh, the stones they are slightly different they are tend to laminated they are soft and they have such, uh, there is a greasy consistency to the brown pigment stones and we should remember the brown pigment stone they are found in the infected bile so this was uh, uh, this is a picture which is which shows the black pigment stones and uh, about the pigment stones now these pigment stones they are radio opaque these are not radiolucent because they are formed in conjugation with the inorganic calcium salt you can see this is a picture now this these rays are radio opaque and they can be seen on x-ray uh, this was about all about the gallstones i'm not discussing the clinical features the features the complications of the uh, gallbladder stones uh, i can discuss the cholecystitis in the next video if you like uh, do comment do like share and subscribe to this channel if you like these type of videos thank you for watching it